Hey cuties! So today I'm going to be doing a tag video. Um, this tag has been going around YouTube for quite a while and I'm just going to do it today. So it's called the Get Your Freak On Tag. It's 15 questions so let's get started. The first question is, what is a nickname that only your family calls you? So I don't have a nickname that only my family calls me, but the nickname that my family all pretty well calls me is Sammy. That's like all my brother calls me. It's kind of just force of habit. He's been calling me that since he was like could speak, so it's just sort of stuck with all of us. And my other nickname that my family calls me is Barbie. My auntie actually started that. Um, when I was little, all I used to play with was like Ninja Turtles and Batman and action figures, and I was kind of like a tomboy. And then when I got older, like around I'd say eight years old, the time when usually children should stop playing with Barbies, I was actually just starting to get into them. So then my family kind of gave me the nickname as Barbie. Number two is what's a weird habit of yours? A weird habit of mine is definitely that I have to color coordinate everything. Well, not everything, but if something is able to be color coordinated, I will color coordinate it. So if you watch my room tour, um, my closet, both my closets are all in color coordination. Um, whether I hang something or fold it, uh, my underwear, my socks, my shirts, everything is color coordinated. My nail polishes, my makeup, my binder, so for school everything is color coordinated color coordinated there. I think it has to do with I work at Valley Village and everything is color coordinated and there's an order that we have to follow so that might be because of it. Number three is do you have any weird phobias? Yes I do. I am very very much afraid of birds. Um, most, I think a few of you already know that but yeah that is just a big phobia for me. Um, my mom has a similar phobia like that. She's afraid of birds. Uh, when I was very little, <clears throat> a bird got stuck in the house and it was like flapping on the curtains trying to get out and that I think that's frightened me ever since. And also my second phobia is death. I'm really afraid of death. I am afraid of dying. I don't know why. I shouldn't be because everyone has to go through it and it could be tomorrow, it could be in 10 years, 20 years, 50 years. It can happen at any time and I'm just, it really freaks me out. Number four, what is a song you secretly love to blast and belt out when you're alone? Um, Green and Yellow by Lil Wayne. I love that song. Green and Yellow, Green and Yellow, Green and Yellow, Green and Yellow. And also Mbop by Hanson. Such an old song, but it's like, it's really embarrassing, but I love it. Number five is what is one of your biggest pet peeves? I have a few, so I'm going to share them. Um, when somebody's cooking something in the microwave, so if it has like 10 seconds left or 20 seconds left and they open the microwave to take their food out and they don't clear the time on the microwave so it says like 15 seconds remaining and then they go off and eat their food and then I'm like hmm well you know I have to go to work soon what time is it and I turn I'm like it's 15 seconds that annoys me and also when people are watching shows with me or if I'm just like there when somebody's watching a show and when it's going to commercial break and it says coming up after the commercial break and it shows like everything that you're gonna be seeing like sort of like a preview I hate that. It's like, why watch the coming up? Why? Then you shouldn't even watch after the break then because you already know what's all going to happen. It's a big pet peeve of mine. My mom hates that it's a pet peeve of mine because she watches the coming up and I'm always like, oh my god, turn it! <laughs> Number six, what is one of your nervous habits? Um, when I'm nervous, I definitely play with like my mouth jewelry. So my lip ring, I'll like bite like this, the end of it. I'll just play with them and bite them and twist my tongue and bite it. <laughs> That's what I do when I'm nervous. I don't know why. Number seven, what side of the bed do you sleep on? And it's kind of a weird question, like why do people want to know that? But it always is the left side. And, I, and again, I don't know why. I just always am on the left side of my bed. Whether it's my bed, a hotel room bed, my boyfriend's bed, any bed that I'm in, I'm always on the left side. Number eight, what was your first stuffed animal and what was its name? Um, my very first stuffed animal, I was trying to find it for you guys because we do have it in our house, but it's in some keepsake box. I was trying to find it like all day. But it's basically a little tiny white dog and it was just a plain white dog with a black nose and black eyes. That's it. However, I didn't really care for stuffed animals when I was really, really little, but the first thing that I had to sleep with and carried around all the time when I was little was this blanket. So this is like a 101 Dalmatian blanket. It looks like this. There's like a little corner right here and there's only one corner. And when I was little, I would suck my thumb when I was little. And I would have to go like this as I'm sucking my thumb. 
and I'd find the corner here, and I'd rub it, and I'd suck my thumb. This is why I have buck teeth. And this was named Banky. Nine, what is the drink you always order at Starbucks? A grande vanilla bean frappuccino. So good. That's like my, every time I go there, I don't go there that often, but when I do, all time. What is a beauty rule you preach, but you never actually practice? I believe that you shouldn't preach anything unless you firmly believe in it or if you do it yourself. So I will never say that I do something myself unless I do do it. Does that make sense? Did I make sense? I will never say to you guys that I do something or I love something or whatever unless I'm actually doing it or I love it myself. Number 11, which way do you face in the shower? Another weird question, but I face away from the shower head. So it's like the shower's coming here, doing its thing, and I'm this way, doing my thing. Number 12, do you have any weird body skills? And I can roll my tongue. I haven't done it for so long, but let's see if I can still do it. I still got it. Number 13, what's your favorite comfort food slash food that's bad, but you still love to eat it anyways? So when I'm eating comfort, I definitely, these are my top two, cookie dough. So just like a thing of cookie dough or a tub of cookie dough. I don't like to eat too much at one time because it kind of makes my stomach a little sick. Is crispy cheese. Oh my god. You guys, I think I'm going to maybe do a tutorial on it, how to make crispy cheese on my second channel, my vlog channel. It is amazing, you guys. So basically all it is is just cheese grated. So it's like grated cheese and you take clumps of it on a cookie sheet, clumps of it, and then bake it. That's it. And it becomes so greasy and crunchy and crispy. And, oh, out of this world. It's so good. Number 14, what's a phrase or exclamation you always say? So cute. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so cute. Look at that. That is so cute. This shirt, that's so cute. I say that all the time. So cute. Um, I say that's legit a lot. Like, this shirt is legit. Like, this is really legit. Like this blanket is legit. Number 15, time to sleep. What are you actually wearing? I wear either, for shirts, I wear tank tops or like a really baggy shirt. And for pants, I wear shorts. Just either short shorts, like little teeny little short shorts, or I wear like men's boxers. I have lots of men's boxers. I have SpongeBob ones. I have Hulk boxers that my boyfriend absolutely hates me wearing. But I like to be comfy when I sleep. I cannot sleep with uh, pajama pants on or uh, socks when I sleep unless I'm sick. Like if I have a flu, if I have a cold, I get really hot when I sleep. I don't know. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye guys!